so hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we will be creating multi split frame tutorial so i was going through kendrick lamar family ties music video which was looking really interesting to me so let's get started with the tutorial so now open after effects import all the clips that you want as you can see i have many clips already imported here and then we will select all the clips and then we'll drag and drop and then choose from create from single composition to multiple composition and then hit ok now we will have a separate comp for each of our footages i think let's keep this as a base layer so let's rename it to main comp as this will be the one which will be played throughout the whole video as a background and then we'll rename it every comp accordingly like scene 1, scene 2, scene 3 which you can see that I'm renaming it okay so now our next step will be choosing the best scene which you want so I will go with this basketball shot because also I have one more shot from a different angle with the same action so I think it will look good enough if we both put this frame together with different angle and then open the composition settings and then we will change the width and the height we will adjust the width and the height accordingly okay and then I will just drag and drop I don't want it to be in the middle of the scene so I put it on the left side then I will drag and drop the second clip of the same shot from different angle and then I will try to match the movement so that it looks good okay so now we will open up that comp and then again We'll go to the composition settings and then adjust the width and the height you are free to choose whatever width and height you want so i'm just going random over here click ok then head back to the main com then we will adjust the position okay let's play through it i think it should look good okay I think the timing is not matching so I will shift the second scene 6 a bit forward to make it match yes I think now it looks good enough so now I will drag another scene let's see this its name is scene 7 which I named it now I will open the scale properties and, and adjust its scale and position of the clip And then you have to repeat this process over and over again as you can see that what I am doing right now. I think the one which I dragged the new footage I think it's looking good in the center. So now I will drag another footage, scene 8 and then I will repeat the same process, open the scale properties and adjust its size and then I will also adjust the position of the footage. okay let's adjust the timing i think the frames the clips are coming too late i want the frame to come one over another as quick as possible okay 
so now this will be our last scene which we'll be adding and also we'll be doing some rotoscoping and masking for this so drag and drop the footage select the layer and mask out like I did from the center and then we will animate the mask path property Now we will duplicate the same layer and then go to roto brush and then we will start rotoscoping out our subject. Once you are done with the rotoscope, click freeze frame and then head back to the main comp. It's up to you, like I was thinking of giving some different variations to it which might look good. So I thought of doing the rotoscope and then animating the background. Let's adjust the mask part timing. It's too far away. Okay, let's bring it close. Now let's preview it. Alright. I think we are done with this. Also, don't forget to enable the motion blur. Make sure to subscribe my channel for more content. Have a nice day.